Next up, we have some information about the Lay Dominicans. We have a video here that we have queued up, ready to play. Hello, my name is Tom Mathis, and I'm the president of the local chapter of Lay Dominicans here in Charlotte. I'm here to invite you to consider joining the order of preachers known as Dominicans. St. Dominic de Guzman founded the order 800 years ago. He is identified by various symbols. The most prominent are the black and white habit, a star over his head, and a dog holding a lighted torch. Each symbol reflects part of his amazing legacy. The four charisms of Dominican life are prayer, study, community, and apostolate. The 177th Pope, Honorius III, granted the title Order of Preachers to the Order of Friars organized under Dominic de Guzman. To this day, we are known as Dominicans. The order includes friars, nuns, priests, sisters, and laity, all consecrated to the fraternal rule of St. Dominic. The order has steadfastly been faithful to the Catholic Church and may be the only religious order that has maintained its identity and ministry without interruption nor division throughout its 800-year history. Here in the United States, the southern province is one of four Dominican provinces. The province was founded in 1980, and two people from the eastern province actually founded the Charlotte chapter of lay Dominicans in 2009. Dominican ministry values poverty and prayer combined with study. The early friars were sent to Catholic university cities to study and then to preach the fruit of their contemplation. Poverty and fasting enabled them to effectively preach truth and win lost souls back from confusion and heresy, most notably the Albigensian heresy, which was rampant in the 12th century. St. Dominic's fervor for the salvation of souls, his focus on a life of prayer, enriched by study and fostered in community, carried his friars throughout Europe and beyond. The church also recognizes him as the first to receive the rosary from our Blessed Mother. Famous Dominicans include St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Rose of Lima, Fra Angelico the artist, and St. Martin de Porras. But the order has produced over 200 Dominican blesseds and over 70 Dominican saints. And these numbers include many martyrs and four popes. Today's Charlotte chapter of the Fraternity of Lay Dominicans is by any standard flourishing. Uh, we have almost 40 members drawing lay Catholics who long to ponder the depths of our rich Catholic faith, live more faithfully, and share their love of the truth, not only for our salvation, but also for the salvation of everyone near and dear to us. If any of your viewers and listeners would like to learn more, our next inquiry class will be at 8.30 a.m., on Saturday, October 24th, at St. Joseph College Seminary in Mount Holly, where our group recently established a new home. This inquiry class is a one-hour introduction to St. Dominic. We suggest how lay Dominicans discern a calling, how it may be lived at home, at work, and in their own parishes. It's the first step toward eventually and hopefully making a permanent pros promise or commitment to living the lay Dominican rule. After the class, inquirers may stay for the regular meeting of the Charlotte chapter to meet members and others' information. Uh, inquirers who are still interested may return monthly. To pursue this path, you must be Catholic, of course, older than 18 and have been practicing the faith for two years. Uh, we meet monthly in community to satisfy that Dominican pillar of community. Uh, we say the morning office together, we attend Mass together, we pray the rosary, and then we participate in formation with lectures from our group spiritual advisor, Father Matthew Kauf, the rector of St. Joseph Seminary and a member of the priestly fraternity of St. Dominic himself. And for that, we are richly blessed. Our monthly meetings renew and confirm our resolve to be accountable to the daily practice of our faith, to prayer, contemplation, study, the sacraments, and preaching salvation according to our, our station in life. As lay Dominicans, we exercise teaching, mentoring, praying, and especially acknowledging our dedication to live for Christ amid our family, of course, but also with the parish and in our work activities. For more information or to reserve a seat for the October 24th class, go to www.charlottelaydominicans.org. You can just Google that and send your contact information by email. Or you can call 704 882 
888-646-9692 and let us know you're coming. May God richly bless you during these turbulent times, and we look forward to possibly meeting you on the 24th of October.